We're just keeping our same what we've done over the past several years. Uh, we'll be having officers at each event uh, uh, throughout the night, and then also, also officers walking the area uh, in groups of four, four to six. All depends on uh, where we're at. The corner of Park and Main is usually pretty big, so we usually have um, more officers stationed down there in that area. And then in the music area, uh, until 11 o'clock at night, we'll have uh, four to six officers stationed there. And um, how does this festival, in terms of police presence, um, compare to when you're at the folk festival? The police presence is, is heavier here because we also have the high patrol coming in. Uh, our presence is about the same. However, the high patrol almost doubles our, our man, manpower for this festival. So at any given time, from the hours of 9 at night to 4 in the morning, we'll probably have upwards of 25 officers out. So uh, there'll be a big... And why do you need a, a bigger police presence at this festival? Uh, it's a, it's more spread out, a little bit more spread out than the, uh, than the music festival, and, and again, it's, it's just a different type of uh, a festival. It's more there is a lot more drinking. There's outside bars. There's uh, just different dynamics with this festival than, than with the folk festival. And um, how does safety play a role in terms of like crowd control and like some of the um, the events, like the stunts that happen? Uh, you know, we they the Eagle Knievel uh, event committee will handle. Uh, they have their own security that handles some of the security events, keep people back and stuff. And we'll assist in that to make sure that the event is safe. Uh, try to make it safe for the viewers of the event. Uh, we have nothing to do with scheduling what events go where and what they are. But uh, we do work the events. Uh, our our main goal is to keep the people safe. What's the main problems you? guys in Congo in the past as far as evil can be things. What kind of things do you law enforcement run into um, have to deal with? Disturbances and fights is the, our main thing. Uh, whether at the, in, inside the dance area or uh, in front of the bars. Mostly what we get is these fights. And we try to move in on the fights uh, quicker so nobody gets hurt and then we uh, uh, make the arrest. We don't uh, we make arrests for disorderly conduct is our most prevalent arrest. And even if the people just start shoving each other, I mean, we want that done in our way so we don't, nobody gets hurt and, and uh, we can squash the problems early. Okay. Don't want to escalate. Yeah, I mean, we don't want, we let it go and, and put them back into the crowd and it'll just get worse. So it's been our experience if we arrest quickly, uh, get the troublemakers out of the crowd and into jail, uh, it works a lot better than that. Like a zero tolerance policy. Yeah. And uh, I, yeah, you guys ever concerned like motorcycle like gang type activity? Yeah, uh, we do keep an eye on it. We do keep an eye if, the, if we have gangs gangs that come in with their colors. Uh, however, if they don't break the law, we don't we don't bother them. I mean, they're just like any other person that comes to, to the festival. Uh, you know, we do try to keep a closer eye on them if they're for playing their colors and, and stuff like that. But uh, most of the time, we don't have an issue with any of the gangs. So far, I mean, that's been pretty good. Cool. That's wonderful. So you had to say, like, yeah, I was asking, I, I heard about that bike, that kid on the bike or whatever. And through our investigation and looking at and speaking with uh, some of the mounted staff at uh, St. Vincent's. And